Put on the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Let the oil of gladness flow down from your throat. Has anyone in here had dreams about lightning lately? You know, like, not uh, not real light. I mean, you, like, you wake up because there's lightning outside. No, no, I'm not talking about that. Especially, was it tied to angels at all? Have anyone had anything? Because otherwise I know who it's for. No one in here has had it. Okay, because what the Lord showed me was an angel riding lightning. And while I'm sitting there, I realized that once Alyssa, my daughter... She was probably six or seven, and uh, there was apparently a storm coming, but I wasn't aware of it. You could not hear it, and one night, I'm asleep. We were living in Margate at the time, and I'm asleep, and all of a sudden, I just opened my eyes because, you know, you kind of, you'd notice a presence, and so here's this little seven-year-old, six-year-old looking at me, and I'm looking at her, and I said, what's up, Alyssa? She goes... Is lightning angels? And I said, Ask God. I mean, you understand, waking up from me. And suddenly there was this crack and this boom, you know, in our house. And um, she covered her ears and she said, He said yes. This was me going, okay, anything else? She goes, no. I said, okay, have a nice sleep. 
she was happy. She got her answer answered. So uh, anyway, I, uh, as I saw that image, I knew that it meant we're going to have a lot of cleansing lightning happening. Now, there's been a lot anyway. And I mean, we are in Florida in the summer. Um, and so there's a lot of lightning anyway. But we're going to see lightning do significant things, probably not just in Florida. I'm thinking this is everywhere. And uh, for Alyssa, for you, I believe the Lord is showing me that you're going to have experiences with his angels during lightning storms. Like unto that time when you were six or seven years old. You might say you were eight, but I think you are thinking you were a little older than what you were. Anyway, Lord, I ask that you would give that experience there and to all of us and help us to see what you are doing. Uh, when you were little or perhaps even older, um, you know, sometimes moms or dads or people, maybe at school, somebody will give you a name or call you something. It's not necessarily I'm saying a bully name or any of that, but this is a name I heard, Pac-Man. That you were called Pac-Man. Is there anybody here ever, you know, maybe uh, in your life you were called the Pac-Man? Nobody? Nobody got an endearing name named Pac-Man? Okay, then I believe I know what it's about as well. No, that's, that's, this is what I believe then what it is. Are, are there people here that when you go away somewhere, you have to pack everything and you know you have to. Aha, one, two, three. Oh yeah, there's a bunch. You think, oh my gosh, I'm missing this. And you gotta, you stick it in and it's like, like you're, you can't get enough stuff in that suitcase, right? You could never fit in one of those little rolly things that fit over the thing, even if you were gone only one day, because you gotta have the full-blown big suitcase for even one day, all right? That, that Pac-Man, you're Pac-Man, all right? But really, here's what it's about, is that I really did see a Pac-Man. The Lord said, there are Pac-Men in the room, and they're going to, just like the Pac-Man in that video or that little game, they're gonna eat up the, the, the obstructions in the way through their prayers and through their intercession, they're gonna eat it up so that it can make a path for other people to follow through. Does that make sense? So Lord, I'm just speaking over those people, especially that are the pack men, pack women, that they are, Lord, blessed by you with the gift of intercession and spiritual warfare, that they will see a path that they need to cut through, cut through it, and then bring others along with them. Lord, we thank you, God, for what you're doing in this church with spiritual warfare. And I'm praying that over all of us right now that we enter into a new level and we can go after every devil that's out there in Jesus' mighty name and see the victory because we already uh, have the victory in Jesus' name. And we all agree and say, amen. Amen. Hey, streamers, thanks for being along today. And uh, we'll be back next week, and we might even have Facebook up and running. You never know. Anyway, God bless.